Uh, we've just come back with a new part of our training. In this part, uh, we want to talk about the related connections that we have in our sites. It means that if you have, for example, two devices and you want to connect them with each other, which types of possible connection may you have and how you can connect uh, these items with each other. So let me just write the headline. It's just connections. And, uh, you know, during our training, uh, we try to use a lot of pictures to clarify all the items for you. So as soon as this part uh, is uh, finished, I'm going to start with a new thing uh, on another, actually, uh, view of uh, our camera. And there I can uh, be able to, uh, sorry, I can show you some types of, you know, pictures related for my uh, training part. So listen to me. Uh, the first item that I want to tell you is just related to connection of weld. Uh, this item actually maybe is a little bit strange or I know weird in instrument because as you know that when you try to weld two items with each other, in this case it's totally impossible to or it's a virtual impossibility to uh, remove from themselves. So that's for sure in this case. Weld is usually used in uh, piping when we uh, just want to fix two items with each other forever or forever lasting. Because as you know that the instruments must be installed somewhere and after, you know, with the passage of time, they need to be removed from the taps because, for example, we want to calibrate them or we want to repair them or we want to readjust them. So for these types of things, we should have enough access to uh, our instruments to work with. So well, I can just tell you that weld can be applicable for case of piping or for example for mechanical engineering the time that they just want to put something in the vessels or drums or stuff like that they try to use it and actually uh, this one is so uh, famous and well known a connection in those things but I want to tell you in just some you know uh, uh, how can I say a limited uh, application of instrument we uh, can use you know the weld uh, connection as well and in relevant part I will teach you how you can use them during your work. So let me just start with continue with uh, the second part. In this part I want to tell you about thread connection or I can just call it as screw 2. Uh, looking to the past, uh, you vividly remember the time that I was just telling something related for standards. One of the most standards that I just put my finger on was uh, NPT, I mean National Pipe Thread. And in that part I told you, you know, you just consider two connection, which one of them is male and another one is female, like you can just fasten uh, them on each other easily. So this is another connection that uh, it is totally uh, famous and well known in instrument. For example, a lot of gauges, a lot of pressure transmitters, you know, some types of fittings can be fastened or can be, uh, you know, tightened on somewhere uh, based on, you know, this connection, which is thread. Uh, as I told you before, for this item, you, you have to be careful about the uh, standard that you use. For example, if, I don't know, a male connection is MPT, you cannot or you are not allowed to connect it on, for example, BS, a standard connection, because uh, these two parts must be totally compatible with each other uh, for, for example, not having any types of problems in the projects. So let me continue with number three. The third item is related to flange. Uh, I'm totally sure many of you uh, know these things, but if some of you do not get familiar with this thing, I can just, you know, draw a shape. This one actually is a flange. As you know that, uh, there is a kind of, you know, circle, uh, you know, in the middle of it, um, I mean, in the center of it, uh, which, for example, the uh, fluid can stream through. And after that, you can find, you know, some holes around them, which are the space for bolt and knot. You can just put, you know, the bolt and knot inside and then you fasten it. And in this case, you're totally sure about your connection, which is totally, I mean, fastened and tightened. So that's why there is no leakage out of those flanges. For example, for more clarification, I can just uh, draw a pipe for you. Just imagine this is a pipe. 
And now I'm going to draw a flange for you. This is a flange, as you can see here. So do not forget, between two flanges, you must put a gasket to reduce the amount of possible leakage between these two flanges. So actually, just imagine this is a gasket as well. So it's another flange here, as you can see. And I can just mark this one as a gasket. So, it was a thing that I told you. Just imagine these are those holes that I just mentioned for you before. So, you just put a bolt inside. This is another side of bolt and here you just put a knot. And in this case, you are totally sure these two things are totally fastened and totally tightened to each other and there is no possible leak or leakage between them. This one actually is one of the most famous and well-known connection in instrument and I can tell you that some, some valves or I don't know some types of you know uh, instruments or some types of accessories can be installed on the pipe based on this type of connection I mean flange one and the last one or finally it's related for compression type I'm writing this one here just imagine uh, those tubes that I told you. Can you remember about the tube that I told you was related for stainless steel 904? And as you could remember, I told you these uh, tubes can be used for connection between some taps, I mean pipe taps to the instruments such as pressure transmitter. These tubes are actually, you know, uh, semi-fragile or something like it, but actually these things are not really flexible. Uh, you know, they have uh, a really, uh, you know, thin, thickness, but as I told you before, uh, these items must be connected based on, you know, compression connection. 